In this video, we go over example two of double integrals over general regions. Find the volume of the region bounded above by the cylinder z equals x squared and below by the region enclosed by the parabola y equals 2 minus x squared and the line y equals x in the xy plane. When we're approaching these integrals, what we really need to do to set up our bounds is graph the two-dimensional region in the xy plane that we're trying to integrate over. So that's what I'll start with. I'll set up my x and y axes and first I'll graph the line y equals x. So we know it's a horizontal line that bisects the first and third quadrants. And now I want to graph the parabola. So I have my parabola y equals 2 minus x squared. So it's an upside down parabola that crosses the y-axis at 2 and um, then opens downward. So we can see that that parabola crosses the line y equals x in two different spots. We're looking for the region between those two graphs. And so what I want to do is find the two spots where the, where the um, graphs intersect. So to find the points of intersection, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the two equations equal. So I have y equal x and y equals 2 minus x squared. So if I set those equal, I'm going to get x equals 2 minus x squared. Now this is a quadratic, so to solve it, I want to set it equal to zero. So I'm going to move everything to the left side of the equal sign. x squared plus x minus 2 equals zero. And now if possible, factor. If you can't factor, you can use the quadratic formula. But this particular one factors really easily into x plus 2 times x minus 1 equals zero. So that gives me the x values, x equals negative 2 and x equals 1. So we know that our lower bound for y is the line y equals x, and the upper bound for y is the parabola y equals 2 minus x squared. So y goes from y equals x to y equals 2 minus x squared. And then for x, I want that to be my outer integral, so it has to have constant bounds. And so what I'm going to do is just take the x values that we found, and x goes from x equals negative 2 to x equals 1. So now we can actually set up our double integral for volume using these bounds. All right, so our volume is going to equal the double integral of x squared, because that's our f of xy. That was given on the last slide and on this slide as z equals x squared, so that's our function. Our y needs to be the inner integral, so I'm going to have a dy first with my inner integral symbol going from x to 2 minus x squared and my x is going to be my outer integral because that's the one with constant bounds so I'll have dx and then my first integral symbol will have the bounds negative 2 to 1 so that will find the volume of the function z equals x squared over the region bounded by um, y equals 2 minus x squared and y equals x alright so we work from the inside outward so first we're going to focus on the integral from x to 2 minus x squared of the function x squared dy. So because I'm um, integrating with respect to y, I treat x like a constant. And so x squared is just a constant, so it's going to be x squared y from y equals x to y equals 2 minus x squared. Now I plug in those bounds for y. So I have x squared times 2 minus x squared minus x squared times x, so upper bound minus lower bound. And simplified, that's going to give me 2x squared minus x to the fourth 
minus x cubed. So that's my inner integral evaluated at the um, bounds. Now what I want to do is take that um, result and plug it into the outer integral which we have not yet evaluated. So I'm going to have the volume equals the integral from negative 2 to 1 of the expression that we just found 2x squared minus x to the fourth minus x cubed and now we're integrating with respect to x so we'll have a dx. So now we can just use the power rule so we'll have 2 thirds x cubed minus x to the fifth over 5 minus x to the fourth over 4 evaluated from negative 2 to 1 and we plug in our upper bound and we plug in our lower bound and we subtract so this is equal at the upper bound we have 2 thirds minus 1 fifth minus 1 fourth because we just plug in the 1 and then minus at the lower bound we're going to have negative 16 thirds minus negative 32 over 5 minus 16 over 4 and that comes from plugging in the negative 2 and so we, we get 63 over 20 and we're finding a volume so we'll call it cubic units so remember in the last slide what we did was we graphed our region in the xy plane first that's really important when you're setting up your bounds because that can help you visualize what's my lower bound, what's my upper bound, and how do I find the constants um, for my other variable. Once we had those bounds, we set up our double integral, and remember the constant bounds had to be the outer integral. So that's how you find volume over a general or non-rectangular region.